Ray Ray Ford, Hollywood. Is it safe? Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Rings. It stars Matilda Lutz, Alex Rowe, Johnny Galecki, uh, also Vincent D'Onofrio, and more. It is the continuing story of the little girl at the bottom of the well. Um, a young man named Holt, played by Alex Rowe, has gone off to college, leaving his high school girlfriend, Julia, behind, Julia played by Matilda Lutz, uh, to take care of her ailing mother. Uh, but when he is at college, he uh, quits contacting her after several weeks. Um, and to figure out what's going on, um, Julia goes to his college and stops in on a uh, class that he mentioned being led by a particularly uh, interesting uh, uh, professor, a guy named Gabriel, played by Johnny Galecki. Um, she follows um, Gabriel uh, to a project, a secret project that he's running uh, in another part of the campus, and it turns out um, he has seen the video of the uh, little girl at the bottom of the well. Uh, he has figured out that by making copies and having other people watch it, he postpones um, his seven days as long as the last person in the chain, or as he refers to them, the tail, uh, finds yet another person to watch the video. Uh, but um, Holt has, uh, his tail has, uh, has not found somebody to, to watch the video yet, and uh, that young woman is killed. Uh, so to protect Holt, Julia watches the video, but the video that she sees, it's different. It's got embedded, more embedded video information in it, and they watch the, they, uh, she watches the extra information that is extracted from the video by Gabriel, and it sends them on a journey to solve a mystery and hopefully save their lives. Um, okay, I realize that The Ring created quite a sensation when it came out, um, and uh, but at, for me, at its very basic level, it is an overly ponderous uh, way to get people killed in a horror movie. You watch a video, your phone rings, a little girl says seven days, and you get some sort of mark on you over that time, and at the end of the seven days, uh, the little girl crawls out of the TV and kills you, um, simply by looking her in the eye. It, uh, you know, that whole setup seems sort of silly um, and rather complicated. Also, in the age of the internet, there's two things that make this whole uh, this whole idea sort of uh, even more ponderous. Uh, first, you have the the initial infection, if you will, is done via a videotape in a VCR. Okay, right off the bat, we've got a problem. Uh, now, in the film, it gets transferred to laptops and stuff and, and flash drives, so that, uh, that handles that. Also, in the age of the internet, if you wanted to protect yourself, you would upload it to YouTube. And that video would then uh, infect possibly millions of people all over the world, making your tail extraordinarily long. Um, so, really, the, the whole concept of the film is sort of dumb. Um, now, the, the mystery associated with this particular film, kind of interesting. Um, and we get some history for the little girl in the well. Um, and uh, there's a... I, I'm not going to give any of it away in case you really, really want to see this film. You know, it's okay-ish, um, but the script is sort of clunkily written. Uh, one particular line caused a couple of people in the audience to laugh when they heard it out loud. Um, and I, it kind of made me cock my head a little bit uh, when I heard it. 
the actors for the most part aren't terribly good um, and again the whole basis for the thing is is just kind of ridiculous I don't quite understand why this is still a thing um, and uh, you know it's not terribly scary and eh, yeah it, it's okay it, you know if you love ring the ring then perhaps rings might be something you would enjoy seeing. I didn't particularly. I'm giving it two stars. Go to StanTheMovieMan.com to read my complete review. Follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan and send your emails to me, StanTheMovieMan at Comcast.net. Till next time. Later.